During one of our live sessions, a viewer asked a question that which one is better for career growth, front end or back end? If you are an EDA or VLSI aspirant and not sure which domain in VLSI would be best suited with your inclination, this video is just for you. Watch till the end of the video. In VLSI design, either we try to address an existing problem or explore some opportunity by transforming a specification into a circuit designed on silicon. The VLSI design flow can be divided into two major parts, front-end and back-end flow. Both together allow the creation of a functional chip from a spec or specification to production. The front-end flow is used to transform the specification or the behavioral description into a RTL circuit description. The major steps of front-end flow are design specification, high-level design, low-level design, HDL or RTL coding, synthesis, DFT, pre-layout, static timing analysis. Design specification. This is the first stage in the design process where we define the important parameters of the system that has to be designed on a specification. High level design. In this stage, various details of the design architecture are defined. In this stage, details about different functional blocks and interface communication protocols between them etc are defined. Next come low level design. In this phase, lower level design details about each functional block implementation are designed. This this can include details like module state, machines, counters, marks, decoders, internal registers, etc. Next is RTL coding. In RTL coding phase, the micro design is modeled in a hardware description language like Verilog or VHDL using synthesizable constructs of the language. Synthesizable constructs are used so that the RTL model can be input to a synthesis tool to map the design to actual gate level implementation later. Next come functional verification. This is the process of verifying the functional characteristic of the design by generating different input stimulus and checking for correct behavior of the design implementation. The next step is logic synthesis. Synthesis is the process in which a synthesis tool like design compiler takes in the RTL target technology and constraint as inputs and map the RTL to target technology primitive. Functional equivalent checks are also done after synthesis to check for equivalence between the input RTL model and the output get level model. Next DFT that is designed for testability. This is the step where extra logic is put in the normal design so that the design become testable in post production. Post production testing is absolutely necessary because the process of manufacturing is not 100% error free. And then comes pre layout static timing analysis. In this stage time Timing checks are done with synthesized get level netlist and wear load delay model. This timing analysis acts as a preventive measure before we do the actual STA at the post layout level. As a front end engineer, one could start as an RTL design engineer or a verification engineer and gain deeper knowledge and skills as they progress in career. In terms of job opportunities, there is a demand for more verification engineers compared to design engineers. You can check job portal to verify that. Front end engineers with strong interest in architecture and microarchitecture can also grow as system design architects and microarchitects. Based on our personal experience in industry, we have seen many people with outstanding programming skill and love for exploring complexity of any programming language have made excellent front-end engineer. They are good at verbal and non-verbal reasoning skill, finding an odd man out. If you have natural instinct of finding category or case or subcase or sublogic breakdowns and really enjoy programming although less bothered about the semiconductor process technology front-end is the perfect domain for you. Now let's move to back-end design flow. Back-end is the method where we translate the design from synthesizable RTL design to physical silicon wafer. So now on in back-end flow we all talk a lot about constraint limitation, viability etc. The major steps in back-end design flow are floor planning. Floor planning determines the size, shape and locations of modules in a chip and as such it estimates the total chip area, the interconnects and delay. Next come place and route. As the name suggests, the place and route process places each macro from the synthesized netlist into an available location on the silicon and connects the macros using routing resources available. Next come DRC and LVS. DRC is design rule check. These are a series of parameters provided by semiconductor manufacturers that enable the designer to verify the correctness of a mask set. Design rules are specific to a particular semiconductor manufacturing process. The layout versus schematic or LVS is the class of electronics.
electronic design automation verification software that determines whether a particular integrated circuit layout corresponds to the original schematic or circuit diagram of the design. Next come physical verification. Physical verification is a process whereby an IC layout design is verified via EDS software tools to ensure correct electrical and logical functionality and manufacturability. Next come parasitic extraction. Parasitic extraction is the calculation of parasitic effects on both the design devices and the required wiring interconnects of an electronic circuit. The major purpose of parasitic extraction is to create an accurate analog model of the circuit so that detailed simulations can emulate actual digital and analog circuit responses. Next come post layout STA. STA is the process of timing verification that verifies a design for setup time and violation and hold time violation. Next come electro migration and iron drop analysis. Electro migration is the movement of atoms based on the flow of current through a material. If the current density is high enough, the heat dissipated within the material will repeatedly break atoms from the structure and move them. IR drop is the voltage drop in the metal wares constituting the power grid before it reaches the power pins of the standard cells. It becomes very important to limit the IR drop as it affects the speed of the cells and overall performance of the chip. Next come engineering change order. Whenever any issue found at the layout level netlist after multiple stages as discussed above are done and there is very less room to do a large modification as per the corrective suggestion from the tape out team, we go for surgical changes inside the layout and this is well known as ECU. Next come layout equivalence check and tape out. Formal equivalence checking process is a part of electronic design automation commonly used during the development of digital integrated circuits to formally prove that two representations of a circuit design exhibit exactly the same behavior. And finally, the tape out is specifically the point at which the graphic for the photo mask of the circuit is sent to the fabrication facility. So, on the back end side, engineers can start with logic synthesis, placement and routing, layout, physical verification, static timing analysis. Most of the back-end engineers would need a better understanding of process technologies, transistor, CMOS, high-speed design issues, power consumption, leakage current and a good grasp of tool and automation basic of semiconductor device physics. If you have deep interest in semiconductor process technology, love to see everything on silicon, more keen on semiconductor physics at the layout level and you have a nature to explore unknown territory then backend is perfect for you. In terms of opportunities and importance, both front-end and back-end engineers are equally important for a company and their job roles are equally challenging. Both will have equal opportunities in terms of building a career and opportunities to earn. So, choose based on your interest, basic nature and inclination. Then everyday work will excite you and work pressure before every release will not drain you. So, keep learning and keep enjoying the journey. That is much for today. We'll be back with another topic. Till then, stay tuned. Stay focused.